A real-time operation center, what is it and what is it not? To answer your question, your real-time crime center or whatever you call it is exactly what you want it to be. There is no one cookie cutter approach to it. Um, just to give you a small background as to why I felt it was necessary is because in our department, second largest city in the state of Illinois, which we all just learned, um, <laughs> there was, we had no one central hub for information. Uh, things were going into all different silos and I wanted a place where we could have operations where you know Intel could come in and then within that kick center that we could push out information to whichever division would be most beneficial to handle that. So what we set out to do was build this crime center, uh, intel center, and so we went around to Chicago's, we went um, to Miami Gardens, we traveled, through, we went to about six different police departments and looked at, of course, the setup. And what we realized is that we wanted a little bit of every one of them. There wasn't one cookie cutter approach. And so I think the takeaway is that don't emulate someone else's. You have to look at your organization, realize what your needs are, and then build it from the needs of your organization in your city your, or whatever that might be. So you can find out not only what you want it to be for your agency, but be willing to adapt as you discover new uses for it. Uh, in our case in May, the active shooter in Atlanta that came up into the Cobb County area, we used it for the very first time as an incident command center uh, or an operations center. And that was just by almost uh, sheer chance. The incident commander happened to swing by to talk to me before he left. And with all the activity, our real-time crime center has an interdisciplinary approach. So we had criminal intelligence analyst, public safety analyst, Homeland Security Lieutenant. When he saw the amount of information coming into our real-time crime center, uh, that became our incident command center. Uh, we had a very successful operation, very successful arrest, and that kind of um, that kind of operation center is very powerful technology. Have a mission or thing, and I know like when we were building ours, we had a three pillar. We made it a three pillar. We did real-time crime. Um, we did command center operations, and then we did ana analytical data as well. So that room that I was in charge of was constantly busy. You need to be concerned not just with the products, but the people and the process, right? Those are the things that are gonna really make your operation center, crime center, whatever you call it, work for you. So we took nine months and actually built out a strategic plan that included everything from what partners did we need to have involved in creating this strategic plan, finances where were we going to get money for this um, and we had to be creative on some of that we had to bring in our IT folks and we had to bring in those partner companies that we already had established relationships so they could help us and guide us along the way if you don't have a roadmap to where you're going you don't know when you reach that final destination so kind of like what Sean said is every crime center real-time crime center is different you need to establish what problems are you trying to solve so what I did is got people way smarter than me that uh, were patrol officers who we had tapped to run this once it, it was basically finished. And I said, instead of me telling you what this should be, why don't you tell me? We realized, number one, we had to educate ourselves, right? Like Sean just said, technology is always changing. It's going to change from the start of your project to the end of your project. So we had to continue to educate ourselves. We then moved that along. We had to educate our department when we deployed these technologies because you have to have buy-in from the people that are gonna use it, um, which is huge. We had to educate the public. So we held media days in Orlando, invited the media to come in and see the technology and get rid of some of those misinformation that is put out there. You know, LPRs track people, no they don't. Um, we explained to them how it worked, we showed them how it works. So that was the educate piece. Then we said we wanna automate as much as we can, right? LPR is a perfect example of that. All of us know in this room, I can sit on the corner with my MCT and I can run every tag that runs through that intersection. A lot more effective to have something that does that automated already and then sends that automated response. And that's how we explained it to the media. We're not doing anything we don't already do, we're just doing it smarter. I actually saw the benefit of what this can do and the help that the, the cases that we solved in the room for patrol, like for instance, a missing person using LPRs to track the car that she left in, you know, and as you know, be multi-agency event, getting all these people out there trying to track this person down. We were able to solve in like 15 minutes uh, from the room. So it is a force multiplier when you're looking at that. And that was just one. Um, 
the other thing was they used to call me Lieutenant Disney because I was doing tours four or five times a week <laughs> for our general public and everyone yeah. else. It's a funny name. But uh, so, and I can't, the, the main majority of the people that came in were like, oh, you're watching us on the cameras. No, we're watching the cameras when there's a crime. Um, our IT department would kill us with the bandwidth that we use trying to <laughs> get that into the room. But um, so once they started to realize, and we, I mean, t we did tons of tours, these people started to realize, oh, when there's a crime, then they start going into their software. I can't tell you how many times the public was just so happy and they'd actually tell their HOAs and their family, oh, you guys got to go up there and see a tour <laughs> to see what, what, what this county does. They were actually proud of it more than uh, some of the people that worked at the sheriff's office, believe it or not. Uh, uh, what was going on in the room and how high tech we became.